everyone you're all welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here please just kindly hit on the subscribe button in today's video i'm going to be talking about 10 lucrative businesses a woman can start with less than 50,000 francs in cameroon as we all know we are in the month of march which is a month to celebrate the woman so as women we all should strive in our little corners to make an impact there may be many women out there who actually want to start something for themselves who actually want to do a side hustle but are just not sure of what exactly to do or feel that maybe their income is too small so i decided to make this video so it can be of help to anyone out there who have been having such thoughts and didn't know exactly what to do so i'm going to list 10 types of businesses you can start with a capital of less than fifty thousand francs first out of the 10 businesses which you can actually start with a capital of less than fifty thousand francs is food or catering business <laughs> Trust me, there's a lot of gain in food business. And the good thing about it is you can start on a very, very low scale. You could actually do catering services. If you know how to cook well, you could start making food and packaging and actually delivering to people. And from there, you could start taking orders for occasions and you'll see that with time, you really, really grow in the business if you are consistent and you put in a lot of effort. You can start a grill house. All you need is a grill, some charcoal, and you actually buy what you actually want to roast. You could start roasting fish, chicken, or meat alongside a compliment just in front of your house. Trust me, if you do it well and your spices are really tasty, you are going to succeed in it because many people are going to love it. Many people are going to buy it. The good thing with food business is people are always hungry. People cannot live without food. That's the first thing you should note. People cannot live without food. There are so many people out there who don't even have time. Like in these big cities, they don't have time to cook in their houses. So some of them, they actually need services like that. Like catering services. Maybe they could order food from you or they could come buy the things from you. What you need is just to present your things in a neat, nice and attractive way. Trust me, you are going to have a lot of customers. You also go to remote areas areas where they produce certain things and you buy from them in wholesale and now take those things to urban areas and resell trust me you are going to make a lot of gain the second kind of business is mobile money or call box or credit transfer trust me with that you don't even need to look for a kiosk if you have the money yes you can go in for a kiosk but if you don't have it you could start operating right from your house all you need to do is just write a little signboard put it in front of your door and before you know it customers will start flooding in third kind of business you could do is clothing clothing business is something that never never goes wrong you just need to know strategic points and know how to market your products on that clothing you could buy fashion and trendy clothes from suppliers and resell in your own terms you could also work with designers like you go to local tailors you discuss with them and you now find clients and bring to them and each client you bring to them you have a percentage after each payment you have to look nice you have to look chic you have to look good to attract the people that you are going to sell to and you have to know the target population where your market will actually sell what business you could do is home tutoring and this kind of business is usually flourishing in urban areas because in such areas you know most of the parents they hardly have time to come back home and start teaching their kids so most often they always look for people who are capable enough to teach their kids you could advertise your services if you know you are good at teaching children or if you or if you know you are good at certain disciplines you could advertise your services and people will start coming you could even organize just small classes in your house when the kids go to school and come back you know you just gather them and start something from there you give your terms of payment and the parents can start paying you monthly this business which you could do is hair business trust me hair business if you are strategic enough you are going to make a lot of gains women will always look good women will always want to look good so hair business is something that will always always have quick turnover you just need to know what's trending you need to know the target population and you need to know the techniques of how to sell your market you can buy hair from suppliers and you resell according to your own terms you can also buy wigs from wig makers and sell according to your own terms or you learn how to do wigs because nowadays most people wear wigs the wig business is really 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 trendy so you can learn how to do wigs or connect yourself with a wig maker like me where you will buy from 
and start selling on your own terms. Also operate a mini salon in your house or you could start doing home services. If you know how to do braids, if you know how to do hair really well and you start doing home services, there are many women out there when they go to work and they come back, they are so tired, they, they can't even, they don't even have time to go to salons. If you do home services, you are going to really, really, really have an advantage in urban areas. Many people will call you to their homes to do their hairs for them and that's how they'll start recommending you to other people who will recommend you to other people and that's how you start making your money. The same business you could do is makeup, becoming a makeup artist. If you are good at makeup, you are going to have a lot of customers. If you don't know how to do makeup, you could easily learn. Nowadays, you could learn even on YouTube and start offering your makeup services. People will be calling you to do makeup for them for events and for other things. Trust me when I say makeup business is really, really good especially when you're good at what you do when you're good at your job your job will sell for you your handwork will sell for you you don't even need to bother yourself just your work itself will speak for you when you go and do makeup for people and you do it so well trust me it's going to bring more and more and more and more and more people and the good thing with makeup is because once you've bought your materials you could use those products and fetch a lot of money before you have to buy another round of items you could also learn manicure and pedicure and start doing home services. The second kind of business is online streaming platforms. A lot of people out there are making a lot of money online. Just with your phone and mobile data, you can make a lot of money. You can make money on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, and so on and so forth. Why would you waste your money all the time putting in data and not using it to do something productive for yourself? If you use social media so often, if you have to put mobile data on your phone so often and you don't have any source of income through the internet, then I'll tell you, you are really missing out. You can use that data to generate more income for yourself, either by creating an online platform and start growing it from the scratch or by having an online shop. If you are a dynamic person and you know how to create content and you have a lot of people that will support you, then you should create an online platform and start making money. Don't be discouraged. I myself, I created this YouTube channel just a month ago. And my goal for creating this channel was to put out my content there which can help somebody and also to be able to make money out of YouTube. Before creating this channel, I consulted some people and I said, you know what? I want to start this YouTube channel. Some encouraged me and some discouraged me. Rome was not bell in a day. I know slowly and surely I'll get there someday and with the help of you guys. That's why I'm begging you guys to please, please, please always watch my videos and please help me share so I can get more subscribers so I can actually get to my dream someday. The end business is event planning. Event planning is something which is not really yet a thing in Cameroon. And the other day, my sister called me and she was like, why don't you consider event planning? And I was like, hmm, in Cameroon, when people have their events, they plan it on their own. But on the second thought, that idea is a really, really brilliant one. If you can actually succeed in building up a profile like that, I think you are going to make a lot of money because many people are going to start using that service. When planning an event, let's say a wedding, birthday, death celebration, or whatever, the main person who has that event, it's always so, so difficult to figure out everything. So if you have somebody that you can just pay, the person will be the one giving you the recommendations for you to select from, then it's going to be a really, really good thing. People are going to start paying you. For example, you could be in a town, let's say Yaoundé, you find out the best catering services in Yaoundé and their prices, you find out the best makeup artists in Yaoundé and their prices, you find out where you could get the best drinks, you find out where you could get the best, you know, accessories and other things you could use for parties. Now, with that idea in mind, you can easily be an event planner. Now, you go and advertise your services to the person having the event. Who will be the one to propose maybe the decor person? Who will be the one to propose the makeup artist? The person who is going to deliver drinks? The person who is going to be the caterer? And so on and so forth. And you are not doing that for free. They are going to pay your own commission. So you see, it's a brilliant idea. The ninth kind of business is being a real estate agent. With this, you don't even need any capital at all. You just need to use your head be intelligent and sharp enough, you are going to make money. In urban areas, the process of looking for houses is really, really, really difficult. So what real estate agents do is, they move around town, find out available houses, find out the prices, 
talk with the landlords to know their terms and now they start looking for clients now if you are looking for accommodation the estate agent is going to help you give you choices now when you choose that okay i want to go to this particular place that you have shown me the estate agent is going to take you there and you discuss the terms with the landlord and upon payment of the rent and every other thing the agent has a good percentage in that payment i know someone may say that's a job for men says who on the other hand if you're a woman and you do this you're going to have a lot of clients because many people are going to feel safer with you the third kind of business you could do is baking business if you know how to do pastries how to do all those things how to do cakes you are going to make money if you already know this or if you are good at this you just need to advertise yourself have your items at home and start taking your orders when your pastry tastes good you are going to have clients because people will always love to have good and tasty pastries at their events you could fry chin chin donuts and a whole lot of snacks package put in buckets and keep in stores around your area whatever business you want to start you have to take note of these things one let god be the center of everything so you should do it in honesty be very very honest three be very very patient and steadfast be patient with clients be patient with customers you are there for the money so you don't really really have to care of how customers treat you you just have to keep forging ahead you also have to be very very consistent in whatever you're doing because if you are not consistent you may start losing your customers you already suffered to gather remember that Rome wasn't built in a day little drops of water make a mighty ocean so we've come to the end of this video Thank you all so much for watching and see you all in my next video.